Hey, I'm Ming Tsai, chef owner of Blue Ginger in Wellesley, Massachusetts. In this video, we're going to show you how to safely serve patrons with food allergies. From cross contact information to how to handle a customer with an allergic reaction, this video offers important information we can all use. The purpose of this training video is to raise manager and overall awareness about allergens and best practices that are being used by many in the food industry to prevent hospitalization and death due to accidental ingestion of food allergens. Certified food protection managers are required to obtain a certificate verifying that they have viewed this film in its entirety. This video was designed to work with the manual Welcoming Guests with Food Allergies, a free downloadable document found at www.foodallergy.org. The manual offers additional information and strategies that can be used by food safety managers to train food service staff to safely prepare and serve food to guests who have food allergies. Managers are encouraged to implement these best practices and train their employees accordingly. Food Allergy Training Video for Restaurants and Food Services Dining out is a favorite American pastime. What once used to be a luxury has now become a necessity in most busy families' lives where both parents work and don't always have time to prepare a meal. For a family with a member who has food allergies, it's particularly challenging to eat out. They must rely on food service staff to provide them with information about ingredients so that they can make an informed decision about what to order. Giving a patron the wrong information can have tragic results. Chris and Bob Weaver will never forget the day when their daughter Sarah, who was allergic to nuts, ate a cookie at a catered wedding. Sarah asked the woman if the cookies contained any nut products. The woman serving the cookies assured her that they did not and encouraged her to help herself. Sarah took a small cookie from the tray. That misinformation cost Sarah her life when she suffered a fatal reaction to the hidden ingredient. For all food service providers, full knowledge of ingredients and full disclosure to the customer is the key to keeping patrons safe. Stephen Grover, Vice President of Health and Safety Regulatory Affairs for the National Restaurant Association, works on getting this message across to restaurants. If you're a staff member and a person with an allergy does make a request, it's vital that the information you give them be accurate and truthful. So spend the time to make sure that it is absolutely accurate. This could be a matter of life and death. Education, cooperation, and teamwork are the keys to safely serving a food allergic guest. All food service staff, from restaurant management to back of the house staff, must become familiar with the issues surrounding food allergies, as well as the proper way to answer a diner's questions. Chet England, director of quality assurance for Burger King, has spent years focusing on the food allergy demands that quick service restaurants face. His chain publishes and posts up-to-date ingredient lists for regular menu items. Hi, welcome to Burger King. May I help you? Food allergies are important to us because they are a critical element of our food safety programs, and food safety is absolutely our number one priority. This tape is designed to help train all food service employees about what food allergies are, how to meet the special needs of a food allergic customer, and what to do in case of accidental exposure to a food allergen. Understanding this important health issue will not only help diminish your food establishment's liability risk, but also makes good business sense in cultivating happy customers. The prestigious Le Cirque 2000 restaurant in New York City has its lion's share of happy customers, feeding an average of 500 guests a day. Good afternoon. Owner Sirio Maccioni, whose own son has an allergy to shellfish, has had his staff trained in the nuances of food allergies. They know that their food allergic diner's needs are special. 99% of the people come to a restaurant because they want to be surprised how good it is and how simple or how complicated it is. But we are prepared for the people that have the slightest problem. If they let us know, we cooperate 100%. Restaurants are as different as people. <laughs> and there's no standard quote-unquote restaurant. Each restaurant faces unique challenges in making sure 
that they provide customers with safe, nutritious meals. That includes food safety, but it also includes making sure that persons that suffer from severe allergies get the foods they need. Marcus Samuelson, chef and co-owner of the award-winning Aquavit restaurant in New York, also accommodates diners special requests. In this exciting cool food type of period that we're in, you have to deliver in very, very unique situations. A lot of customers has a lot of different requests. It could be a diet, it could be allergies. The one, the one you take the most serious as a chef is allergies. What is a food allergy? Over six million people have true food allergies. Although any food can cause an allergic reaction, eight foods account for 90% of them. Those foods are peanuts, which are actually a type of bean or legume, nuts from trees, like walnuts, cashews, and pecans, fish, shellfish, eggs, milk, soy, and wheat. It's the protein in these foods that someone may be allergic to. A food allergy occurs when the immune system, which usually fights off harmful germs, mistakenly believes that a particular food is harmful. When this happens, it sends out an army of chemicals, including histamine, to combat the allergen or invader. Those chemicals released into the body cause allergic symptoms like hives, shortness of breath, vomiting, or even unconsciousness. Not all allergic reactions are created equal. Some may be mild, but others can be anaphylactic, that is, life-threatening. The only way to prevent a reaction is through total avoidance. It can only take a minute amount of a food allergen to trigger a fatal reaction in some allergic people. If they do experience a reaction, they must immediately receive epinephrine to help stop the reaction. It's available for personal use by prescription in an auto-injector. They must also be transported to a hospital immediately for further care. Mom, I'm hungry. Can we go get something to eat? Okay. For Julianne and Mark Cohen, eating at a restaurant can be a stressful activity because of their son JJ's life-threatening food allergy to milk. For our family, going to a restaurant is never simple. We have to make sure that there's something on the menu that JJ can eat. We have to make sure the ingredients...